So we uh, we have we have uh, lots of very very close races, don't we? Um, the uh, Georgia, North Carolina, and, Phil and Pennsylvania seem to have been uh, safely Trump at this point, uh, leaving really Wisconsin and Michigan uh, to be the contested states. And as you can see, my goodness, are these close? Look at that. 10,000 votes, 9,000 votes in Michigan and uh, 21,000 in Wisconsin. Wow, this is really, really close. I can't believe just how the raw magnetism of Joe Biden is pulling this through. Uh, there have been some questions raised, but I think that it's important that we understand in the People's Republic of the United States that it's not gentlemanly to assume that your opponent might be cheating. And uh, we really we really should take a very good faith interpretation of everything that's happening. And that's what we're going to do on this stream, because we accept the, just the, the campaigning power of Joe Biden as he was clearly able to change hearts and minds with his clear and concise rhetoric, his, his record of honesty and decency. And we can go into this election with the certainty that the Democrats would never cheat a candidate out of what they had rightfully earned. They just don't have any record of this. This is the good faith attitude with which we're going to approach all of this, because we know that our opponents would approach us in the same way. So uh, there's something weird that happened in Wisconsin, uh, Michigan, sorry. Uh, it, was, it was trending quite well for Trump at about like four in the morning, uh, where Trump was up by 300 or 200,000 votes or so, and then suddenly mysteriously, just a chunk of like 130,000 votes just, just came straight in. Just just this big job there. That's just, wow, what, what coincidence. Because, I mean, if that didn't just come in, then this would have been down here when this little rise would have gone up and Trump would have been significantly down by like 130,000 votes. It's just, what a, what a shock. I guess that's just the mail-in voting for you, isn't it? And the same sort of thing happened in uh, Wisconsin too. So... <laughs> In both Michigan and Wisconsin, just this just jumps. Look, that actually puts him ahead. Of, that's a, what what timing, uh, you know, four in the morning, yeah, like five in the morning, something like that. Just happens to just here's a chunk of Biden votes, and it's all Biden votes as well. Like you can see that the Trump vote doesn't significantly go up at all in the same time. Just so that's that's really really coincidental isn't it? It's just coincidental how that happens. It's just the way things go. I mean, this is what it looks like in the other states. So like you can see in Ohio, a chunk comes in, a chunk comes in, but because it's, you know, split relatively evenly, uh, otherwise you get fairly natural looking curves. Um, so it's, it's, it's just interesting how these two just really just happen to be the way they are. It's pure coincidence. And this happened at some point, 4.30 a.m. to 4.44 a.m., um, with sort of 94, 95% reporting. So, uh, and then it just flipped, just flipped. That, that was just it. That's just what happens. This is totally normal. This is just normal. This always happens. Um, and it, it totally took the forecasters by surprise. They didn't expect it. I mean, because of the way that votes come in and people vote. I mean, it was something like, you know, three to one mail-in voting, but 130,000 ballots to zero and you, I mean, literally zero. Like you can look at the numbers: one nine nine, uh, one million nine hundred uh, to two million one hundred and thirty, uh, two two zero two two zero nine zero two. Is exactly like not one, not one vote for Trump came in at that position in that period. Wow, the statistical chance. It's just that just like one in a million, or probably you know more than that. To be honest, like what? what that's just really coincidental, isn't it? Um, but I mean, like we said, it's just, just the way things is coincidence. It's just what happens. I, you know, I don't even, don't even know why we're thinking about it really, but uh, it totally took the pulse as well. So I said, Oh, it looks like Trump's going to win. And oh, oh, no, actually it looks like Biden's going to win. Huh? Weird. Took them by surprise. Really, really, really strange. They must've been shocked. Got an egg on their faces. You thought Trump was going to win. Ooh, didn't you know that 130,000 votes for Biden and zero votes for Trump were going to come in at 5 a.m.? Didn't you know? I mean, come on, everyone expected that, you losers. Duh. I mean, you guys should be fired. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's, 
there there are other there are other things that are of absolutely no note whatsoever and completely normal like nevada not expecting their results until thursday uh for some reason because their officials won't start counting the ballots until midday as biden leads by less than one percent right this is really that's normal isn't it why don't we just take the day off to not count the votes <laughs> it's not like people are waiting for this or anything um but okay that's that's just again normal that's fine i don't know what you're worried about what's the problem like how's nevada do do it to me obviously yeah it's just eight literally eight thousand votes ahead in nevada <laughs> jesus and then they're just gonna stop counting it's 67 percent reporting so it's not like this doesn't have a big chunk of votes to come in like 33 percent of the votes are still not counted and there's only an eight thousand but we're just gonna stop we're just gonna take the day off we're gonna we're gonna count another day uh yeah, yeah don't worry about it just don't think about it uh there's nothing nothing to talk about like <laughs> it's fine it's totally normal <laughs> you'd be fine if it was the other way around if trump was up by eight thousand votes and then the, the the campaign staff decided just take the day off you'd be fine with it uh for some reason before the election the supreme court decided that they were going to allow uh mail-in ballots to be counted up to three days after the election which is weird uh, even if they don't have a clear postmark. Oh, okay. That's, that's interesting. I don't know why that would be uh, that would be decided, but hey, I'm not the judge of the Supreme Court, am I? Uh, obviously, when the GOP raised concerns about voting practices in Pennsylvania, um, saying that they, there's a picture of a, a, an unidentified civilian taking away an official ballot box, uh, I having trouble thinking of a reason why that's not concerning but i'm sure that it's all above board i mean you say unidentified civilian but surely they're going to say something like concerned election uh i, I don't even know what well, i don't know how to spin this doing my best how, how does this not look terrible exactly um what is going on here i'd like i'd like to know myself really makes you think and uh there was something else as well. Oh, yeah, that was right. Uh, a poll watcher from Philadelphia was prevented from entering the polling place. That's weird. Why would a poll watcher not be allowed in to go and watch the polls? Like, what would be what would be the, the reason that anyone would give for not allowing the poll watcher to go and check to see that the votes are being counted fairly? It's, I'm sure they've got a good reason. I'm sure they've got a very good reason. Uh, totally, totally normal. Totally normal. And, that, like, you know, don't worry about the... Um, the, the, the strange occurrences that have happened as well. Like as the Washington Post say in Fairfax County, an early morning math error led to overcounting Biden's lead by roughly 100,000 votes. A mistake that Stephen M. Hunt, chairman of the Fairfax County Electoral Board, said was discovered and corrected within 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, that's, that's weird. And it just, just happened to be 100,000 for Biden. Good thing someone spotted that. I mean, but that is why we have these checks and balances in the system, obviously. Apparently, two thirds of uh, the county's vote came through early absentee voting. Huh. <laughs> that's interesting. Interesting. I'm sure that's totally normal. But uh, oh, that that was another thing here. Yes, in in Northern Virginia, Fairfax County, election workers arrive in droves carrying sealed boxes. We're told are ballots from drop boxes. Uh, I assume that these people are the correct people to be delivering them. I I don't know. But uh, it doesn't seem suspect to be just bringing in sealed boxes of ballots <laughs> that just can be counted. Another time. It's, it's, it's normal. It's all normal stuff. Um, there are people who are posting videos claiming that they were not allowed to fill in their ballots using ballpoint pens and instead use Sharpies, which I assume are the uh, sort of felt tips that you can wipe off. Uh, but again, just it's just allegations. There's nothing concrete that's been proven here etc etc i mean there is this one woman claiming that she witnessed vote fraud firsthand i guess we'll watch you, it you see well when we went to the polls we were given documents and somebody very close to me was given all of the information to use to vote and then he asked the question well am i supposed to sign anything and the poll worker told him no you don't have to sign anything now of course you have to sign something to get your documents. You have to show your ID. And so this is happening across this country by any means necessary, even if we have to do crooked things, 
I think that I'm glad that we're finding out that some people have been doing things against this election, against the rights. We got, you know, I, I want my religious freedom. I want to keep it. Okay, but I mean, you know, this woman's probably uh, just a liar, uh, a paid Russian agent. Um, clearly, I mean, she's on Fox News, which is the first warning sign, obviously. Um, I assume that Fox are going to start spelling their internal memos in the Cyrillic alphabet. You know, just don't, don't worry about any of this. Don't worry about any of this, right? Look, as Pelosi said about four, what, five days ago, she's just totally confident Joe Biden's going to win. Totally confident. But we are ready. I feel very confident that Joe Biden will be elected president on Tuesday, whatever the end count is. But on the election that occurs on Tuesday, he will be elected on January 20th. He will be inaugurated president of the United States. So while we don't want to be overconfident or assume anything, we have to be ready for how we are going to go down a different path. We've come to a fork in the road when it comes to the coronavirus. See, I mean, I, I, what, what's the problem there? You know, whatever the vote count is, Joe Biden's going to be elected. Pelosi was confident about it. You know? And don't listen to people like Sean Hannity who tweet out these clips of Joe Biden saying things like this. We have put together, I think, the most extensive and inclusive voter fraud organization in the history of American politics. Weird thing from Sabre, okay? <laughs> At least it was diverse and inclusive, I suppose. Now, I, I assume that Sean Hannity has taken this out of context and Joe Biden is talking about a voter fraud prevention organization and that he is just prone to another one of his gaffes and he's just decided... Uh, he's, he's accidentally, through his senility, uh, left out the part where it's about preventing voter fraud. So we, it, it's not that he's created the largest voter fraud organization. It's that he has a brain tumor or something. You know, like, come on, like, take the optimistic view. <laughs> come on, guys, stop, stop being so negative. Uh, I'm I'm with Ben Shapiro on this. Trump has not already won the election. It has been it is deeply irresponsible for him to say he has, and. I mean, how is Ben Shapiro wrong here? You can't say that he's not wrong. If 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 suddenly hundreds of thousands of Joe Biden votes just turn up out of the blue, I guess pre-sorted, so it's literally 100% Joe and 0% Trump, uh, then he doesn't win the election, does he? The election, the, the numbers, whatever the count may be, very clearly show that Trump lost and Joe Biden won. I mean, Ben's right. You know, I you, you can't. You can't just say that he's won when the, when the numbers don't add up. So, yeah, just, you know, calm down, everyone. Calm down. Um, the fact that everything went really badly in every other respect for the Democrats is really interesting, though, uh, when it comes to, like, House seats and things like this. Uh, they hadn't apparently defeated a single GOP incumbent. But meanwhile, Republicans have flipped six Dem seats, uh, adding six women to the caucus. Uh, and not only that, Trump apparently overperformed the real clear politics averages in all of the swing states. It's just Ohio, or Wisconsin, blah, blah, blah. You know, basically, Trump seems to have done really, really well. And the Democrats internally, according to like, you know, politicos, are in a complete state of confusion and bewilderment, saying, what the fuck just happened? Don't blame me. Wild days ahead. Um, the data is everywhere, but House Dems were told were on the march. They weren't. Really interesting, isn't it? And uh, Antifa also got out and stabbed a black woman in the back in DC, which is nice. I don't know why they would do this. Uh, but again, these things are supposed to be a uh, blue wave. This was supposed to be amazing. But according to various check marks, it was an absolute disaster. Uh, so just really, really interesting. Actually, nothing controversial has come up in this election. Uh, I think it's it's clear who the winner is. I think that we can accept this without any kind of concern and we can move forward under the, the glorious leadership of Joe Biden. Again, just in awe of his campaigning skills, his personal magnetism, his rhetoric, his concern for the American worker and the fact that he's definitely not corrupt and going to sell the USA out to China. I honestly, guys, you guys... You should be thrilled. You should be thrilled. The the right the, the best candidate won. <laughs> I don't know how I can keep, how long I can keep this up for. 
But um, but yeah, so that was that was all exciting stuff, wasn't it?